guys money here today's youtube video will be essentially the the ins and outs of the grotto how to play the grotto and um essentially it's just going to be me breaking down my loot path and how my duo and i played it in the past fncs um this past couple weeks um so if you guys do enjoy the video please like and subscribe and it's your boy money and uh enjoy all right guys so to break down the start of the video uh, i'm essentially going to go over all of the entrances of the grotto there's an eight total entrances there's a couple tunnels and and whatnot but uh, first one is the t the hangar, the back hangar, where you can easily glide through. There's a henchman chest right on when you enter in a little quadrant over there to the left. You can enter on the back side over here through this little part of the cave, little hole kind of kind of tucked away back there. That's two. One, you can enter through the skull. Through the nose, there's a chest. That's three. You have that part over there. There's a trash can. You can easily hit the chest and then hit the trash can and go in to the grotto. Um, you can enter it right through there. You can fly right in and then it'll bring you kind of all to the middle of the grotto uh, You got the cave entrance the vent and then you also have the trash can that brings you down into the cave So so first start off the video I'm gonna show you my loot path and how my duo and I played this during FNCS. I would essentially fly into here Loot I would instantly try to look for picks here, right? Anyone flying down they're gliding down They're kind of free kills if you have decent aim Even if you don't you kind of have enough time to even take them out of the air just to begin with so I would kind of just look for or look for tags, anyone coming down, and then I would essentially quickly rotate over here, grab that weapon right there, grab the chest. There's actually a disguise booth right here where you could easily disguise and become a henchman, and you can kind of take control of the whole entire helipad right here. Um, so you have a henchman chest right here. That like I don't know why they don't spawn in battle labs, but I'm gonna show you all the the henchman location, henchman chest locations. Um, but the important part is to disguise because if you don't disguise, you're gonna have fucking crazy henchmen AIs that just have an aimbot, like just shooting at you. Um, so first you go for tags, <clears throat> disguise, henchman chest. And so the most important part about playing the grotto is that if you don't get control of Brutus quick enough, then um, you it's gonna be a really hard time trying to like get in and like get control of vault and play angles. So Brutus either spawns like five different parts of the grotto, and I'm gonna show you each of them. Um, so the first spot that he spawns in right now is on this little catwalk, right? He'll either be on this catwalk or in that part of the cave. Another spot he'll spawn in is actually over here in this long tunnel. Um, <clears throat> he'll be somewhere around here. Sometimes he like breaks walls, so he'll kind of like break this wall and then kind of be like walking around here. And you can hear him, he's really loud, he's got like I don't know. He's got that weird voice. Another one, the last one is on the roof. He'll actually spawn up here, and that one's really easy when you're flying in. You want to really be aware. You want to see if Brutus is either on the roof or where is he, because if you can take control of Brutus, that'll help you immensely when you're trying to take control of the grotto and win it out and get the vault and rotate out. Um, so if you do get control of Brutus on the roof, obviously get the minigun, get the card. And start playing your angles here. So what I like to do is I kind of like to just sit on this ramp and Hold this like corner peak and see what's all around if there's kids like if I hear kids fighting the cave I'll immediately push over <clears throat> Sorry, I'm terrible on keyboard. I'm immediately push over and block all this off Normally people can break up here and they can look at you down there, but that's really not that important but block everything off um, Essentially just close all that off get the vault and then take control of the vault and then you can either decide to either leave the vault <clears throat> or if you have a bunch of loot if you have a c4 if you have an rpg you can easily you know push out and decide what you want to do there um <clears throat> so that's my little loot path that i do um, whenever i push the grotto is i land the skeleton actually what i have my duo do is i actually have him land that little like hanger place over there above the little helipad ring and that gives you one chest and it also gives you here i'll mark it right here it gives you one chest and it also gives you um a disguise booth and a trash can i'm gonna show you where the trash can leads uh it kind of brings you right over to where i am and so we we kind of play this two different ways right if we don't have control brutus we cannot just loop back cave and see if it's even worth to push in right so we get this chest in here that i'll show you it's a sliding door so you can just fly right in get all the guns Loot the bottom half, but I'm not going to do that right now for sake of time. There's a disguise booth and there's a trash can. You disguise, hit the trash can, and the trash can will actually bring you down here into the grotto. Um, right by... 
this container over here. It's literally right there. You'll come out, there's a henchman somewhere sitting right over here. You have one chest in that container, you have a henchman chest in here, and you have a henchman chest right back there in that cave. Um, so that's what he does. Um, so that's what happens if we don't have control of Brutus off spawn. If we do have control of Brutus off spawn, Brutus should be your main priority. If you're playing the Grotto, if you're playing any other mythic POI, like hands down, the the any mythic weapon should be your priority. So I call that like I'm flying in here, I get nose, and like I'm looking at roof and I see Brutus on the roof. I'm like, bro, sushi, all right, or my duo partner, like we gotta hop down, we gotta get control Brutus. I disguise, I essentially take helipad, and he comes down, he doesn't take the trash can. He comes down, jumps in the water, and we both go up and we take control Brutus. Um, that way we are already at the advantage when it comes down to playing the grotto. Um, so yeah, it, it would just be something like that. We block everything off, we get the vault pretty safely, uh, we disguise, get the henchman chest, and we'd be chilling. Depends on if we have people here, if we're contested, um, or anything like that. Um, so I want to show y'all a couple of hiding spots that I personally found. Some some are the ones that like Tifu found and Chap found or whatever, but these are personally ones that I found. Right? You come up here, you get up on this pole, and you just chill. Right? If you have, if you're on console, which we were, in fact. Shadows are a huge thing on console, right? You can't really see a bunch if you have on shadows And so like we would wear really dark skins and we would get on these poles and look at these angles that you have right These kids don't already know you're up here, right? So you could be sitting over here You can't really go over there, but you could be sitting up here looking at that angle You could even get a right corner peek and look at that or even that right so you essentially have all of control of the long tunnel with Not really people not knowing where you are another thing is right over here you can play this to your advantage. This leads into the other room. It's pretty se It's not really secret, but not a lot of people use it. I haven't really seen this used a lot. But yeah, you essentially have control of two rooms if you're playing this. And this gives you a left corner peek. This obviously gives you a right corner peek on the vent, on the uh, control room, on stuff like that, right? Um, this room is kind of like useless, but it has that little vent. So if you hear someone fighting, right, um, you can obviously hold the right corner peek build and then come around and so it's not always like they won't always see it coming but it's also not like fucking a secret you know what i mean so those are kind of like a little bit of secrets that i know there's another one right here where you break this and you have control you can actually see the vault right here um let me show you this one this one's kind of just like a right corner peek if you can't like see anything like if you don't want to make it too obvious that you like, like they know you're here so you could easily like right corner peek at least see if it's like people are over there and like see if people are on it um the one tifu found is right here these two walls these two walls essentially lead into the cave and you can play this roof and these little like i'll destroy these for y'all so these little right corner peaks are really good on the vault and so like at the very start of fncs no one really knew that like this what existed right and so like it was really good for like catching people coming down this hallway or even playing the vault right um so i'm gonna block that up so so one spot that i actually found is it's kind of like it's literally kind of the same thing except you break into the wall but this one is literally like it's more secrete it's more secret um it's not as obvious and this one gets like the perfect right corner on the vault so you can see everyone pulling through or if they take the vault or you can even get a couple pick shots right to kind of like get the advantage on that team that's pushing vault if, especially if you don't have it this one's the same thing except it has all of entrance or all of the all the eyes on the second layer um really really good spots in my opinion um but yeah those are kind of just like the secret spots of how to um kind of grab angles on people playing the vault if, the, if you didn't get control brutus um and like i said like getting control of the vault and getting control of brutus like, like that, that's that's like the main thing you do like you want to do when you're landing like a mythic poi is you want to get control of the mythic weapon and you want to win out of that but if like if you land backside and there's no possible way that you can push into the vault and you're you don't have the best loot and these kids already looted vault and they're already two like when people loot the vault you gotta assume that they're 200 200 because those fucking chests in the vault give you literally unlimited shield right um 
So, if you kind of just like, if you don't want to push vault, and you kind of just block all this off, you can take control of all backside of Grotto, and you can still get a good amount of henchman chest and come out with a decent amount of loot, right? So block all that off. Um, the all other, also the other entrance is over here. They can easily come through the catwalk. So you want to make sure you block this off and block that off. And then you essentially just take control backside grotto and you make your way to the vent when you're done. And hopefully you can just take the vent and you, you know, rotate up. And you leave, right? Um, so that's kind of how me and my duo play the grotto is we kind of play like the skeleton and that little drop right there There's two other main ways how to play the grotto and I'm gonna try my best to cover them But also remember I like these aren't the routes I choose because the one that I do is Is the most efficient in my opinion the other route is just straight up big dicking fucking Brutus, right? full-on pushing Brutus one through the vent um, one through the cave, one hops in the one hops in the trash can, one hops in the cave. So <laughs> that looks as simple as this, right? You're flying in. Um, one literally goes straight through tunnel, and the other one there's a trash can right down there. He hops on the zip line, gets a weapon, tries to fry a kid or tries to get a couple tags, and then you just hop down straight through the tunnel, right? Um, so assume there's nothing up here. You know, you enter the zip line, hop off. One goes through trash. The other one comes straight down here. There's actually a chest spawn over here. And after you get this chest spawn, you can honestly try to grab for picks right here. If you like see someone hanging or you see some someone that you could fry. There's two entrances with these two doors. This one, to the north goes to the cave. East goes to the little catwalk over there in the long hallway. And so the trash can actually brings you right here. So if you want to rush Brutus together, you immediately come over here, right? Come to your teammate, regroup. The one in the trash can gets out of the trash can, disguises, goes, goes, get that chest. And the other one kind of just like plays around here, waits for the henchman chest, disguises, get the henchman chest. Um, they go up, take this little route up here, and immediately, all, if all that stuff were in there, you'd have right corner peaks all the way down through the hallway. I'll show you right now how that looks. You'd essentially just have a right corner peak all the way down through the hallway. Um, you see where Brutus is like I said if you land on this side of Brutus like at this side of the grotto Your odds of getting Brutus are a lot higher and so like like I said big dicking Brutus is obviously like you want to do that So if you want to alpha up Brutus quick, you're gonna want to do this route And that's the most efficient what you could do You can even send just one cave like if this wasn't contested, this side of the grotto wasn't contested Send one cave send one ca or long hallway. You could easily disable all the cameras. Those cameras are annoying They actually if you're smart enough when you're in a fight, they could actually be very useful. Um, so there's a chest down here, floor loot, floor loot. Um, and then, yeah, you essentially just break through here, get control Brutus, and then you're chilling, right? You get the vault, and from there, you can kind of just decide whether or not what you want to do. You can push out, you can try to alpha that team, you can get, go for a free two points, you can go get your storm surge, or you can just rotate out and hit that little... Um, that tunnel in there in the vault and it'll actually bring you over if I can show you my map It'll bring you over here to this hay bale um, So that's the easiest way to kind of like if you if you don't want to fight you just want to get out of the grotto and All safely with all your mats all your loot and like I said if you land if you get vault You're coming out with 200 shield. You're coming out with a lot of utility um, If you want to pick up c4 it's there, you know other thing is heavy snipes in the grotto. I like the Last recent patch, I, I swear, I'll put it like on anything, I swear they decreased the spawn rate. Because my duo and I, we couldn't find like, it was hard, like we went like four matches without finding a single heavy snipe in one of these henchmen chests, right? Uh, but it is what it is, you know, but coming out of the grotto, you want to make sure you at least have either two heavy snipes or one heavy snipe, whatever. There's a henchman on the roof that provides a heavy snipe up here. Um... He has a pistol, he spawns up here, he just walks around. He doesn't really go anywhere else, right? Um, so he has, a, he has the heavy snipe, and then the other heavy snipes can be obtained through the henchman chest, either in the back side of the cave, or um, the, the vault. Um, so that was basically that loot path. Um, the last one I'm going to show y'all 
is basically playing backside of the cave and not really like this one's a very like if you this one's a very passive route i, I don't really recommend it but if you have to like one of your duo gets like a scuff dropped or like you have to do this um then you can you know you can pull it off right it's it's just really difficult um to really be successful with this little drop path over here or loop path so essentially what would what i would do was i would send one person middle so they would fly down uh essentially get another position into the back cave from coming in middle this way you have eyes on everything you see where everyone went you could see if someone went there you see if someone went to school the only thing with here is you don't want to get fried from school so you gotta hurry up quick go down here pick up this loot path or uh floor loot kill this henchman kill that henchman you get the henchman chests um and then you kind of just heal up and you decide what you really want to do in terms of do you want to grab that boat and leave or do you want to grab um or do you want to make an assault on the grotto if no if only people landed vent and no one landed middle of grotto or the skeleton that i showed you all the first loot path then you can make an assault on the grotto with this loot path but you have to be quick you have to get control of the helipad like i was showing you from my loot path you have to disguise get the henchman chest henchman chest and hold your right corner peaks in the helipad um this other spot over here there's a henchman chest here um that your other duo would get because your other duo would kind of come from this cave over here he'd drop he'd get a floor loot over there he'd get this chest and kind of move on and start rotating in kill the henchman get the henchman chest and um yeah i mean it just depends like this last loot path is very like very passive route in my opinion because like you can't really get control of brutus at all back here but that's not like that big of a deal because you can play your corner peaks if you get inside um the helipad and stuff like that so you can always get in here start playing your corner peaks even move up and even look past over here like i said hop on these boxes play that right corner peak down the middle so yeah that's basically all the loop path uh loop paths that i know and how to play the grotto um i just went over all the hiding spots for the grotto um i'm now gonna go over how to rotate outside of the grotto so depends on what event you're actually playing in whether it be fncs if you're trying to go for storm surge or whether it be a daily dual cup where you're trying to w key and get first because you can only get first to make money you know 750. um so there's there's two main rotates outside of the grotto you have uh, this one right here inside the grotto which i can't really mark but it's inside the vent it's inside the or the vault sorry my problem or my bad um inside the the vault it brings you over here it's it's a it's a um little path that brings you over right behind like uh, under elevation um that like you really only want to use that when you're in a tough spot right when you really have no other option people are putting really heavy pressure on you outside of the vault um you really only want to use that if you have to right because that doesn't really put you in the best position that's one of the rotates out there's actually three in total sorry there's actually a boat on the back side of the grotto that i just showed you on the third loop path and i can't really okay there we go there's a boat right here you can do a lot of stuff with this boat right say zone is pulling over here right and if you got vault you have a bunch of uh band-aid bazookas and you have a bunch of bunch of white heels you can literally take this boat around the entire map right dip in a slurpee get your hp there's like f six campfires on the way one two three four five six there's a bunch there's even probably more honestly if you guys want to look on loot uh like info you can literally see that you can map it out but that boat is always there. Me and my duo personally never did this just because we were never in the position to. We always alpha grotto and we didn't. We probably died. But um, we we basically never did this, but it's an option, right? There's always an option to do this, right? Um, the whole thing about rotating to zones is rotating on dead sides of half. So you want to rotate, like, especially if you don't have the best loot, you don't want to rotate where people are already being, like are. So if you have a zone like this, right, that's not dead side this is dead side right over here because like if you if, th th if this is the zone right nobody's gonna pull a navy team seal fucking six right and come behind you at this little spot 
in like just third party you know what i mean but like if you came right here and the zone is on that part like you're gonna run into people and it's either gonna be like you have run into smart people who don't want to fight or you're gonna run into straight brain dead people and they want to fight and they want to alpha you and it's just gonna come into a big old shit show where you have to either you have to either win out or you you die right um so assuming you zone for the grotto right if you're playing competitive fortnite you need storm surge um some easiest ways to get storm surge are a couple mountains outside the grotto i'm going to show you really quick um it's these couple mountains right i call this one chair mountain because there's a chair up there this one's retail mountain and this is donut because or cinnamon cinnamon bun whatever donut cinnamon bun whatever you want to call it these are the three points of elevation all around the grotto that you can easily rotate with the vent right so i'm going to show you how to get to all of them easily rotate up to this retail mountain get up here okay let's do that again normally you you can i don't know why i didn't was unable to okay so normally you get up here and this is really good for surge right if you need to find surge people in retail you're getting your surge you're moving on if you have a heavy site though and you tag someone it might be worthy enough to push into retail because retail doesn't have a ton of loot and it's very inconsistent with its loot so like i said this is one of the points of elevation you can even move on there if people are rotating out of retail um and i'm going to bring y'all right over to that part of elevation and another thing about the spot is these zip lines actually provide a very good amount of um, rotation as well right this brings you all the way down to steamy if you if like storm is all the way over here that's a very easy rotate um all the way down steamy right and it even sets you up good for surge because you you can easily just sit up on here and start tagging kids roasting out of dirty or even tag kids over there rotating through the river you know what i mean so that's kind of how to how to rotate um with those those natural elevation which is we call the zip lines and there's natural mobility right there um, so I'm gonna show you this high ground right here. Um, if you have zone though, you want to kind of grab these mountains quick because these mountains are really solid for seeing what's all around you, right? I'm trying to build a cone. I'm sorry, I'm not a professional on the keyboard, but this literally sees everything, right? You have eyes on basically a majority part of every rotate coming out of here, the henchman spot the mini junk junction you have kids coming out of dirty right if you take control of this mountain quick and this is if like you're not contested or you, you destroy a team really quick you easily take control and you can easily you know cast people rotate now and get your surge um same thing with that spot over there i'm not really going to show you but yeah that was essentially the rotations out of the grotto and um if you have zone if you don't have zone you can take the boat um one last rotate is you can easily take the vent up you can come here to this lake if me and my duo when we rotated out of here to the lake we were like almost this was almost all never looted right but we also had enough loot to the point where like we didn't need to loot it but like we had to move quick because zone was coming so we just take this boat we'd essentially just take this boat all the way down the river if zone was over here and weeping we just take it right up on the land and then walk it or we'd take it all the way down we wanted to stay away from agency because agency is kind of like the middle of the map obviously so most of the fights go down there or people trying to if they have a base up there they could try to hold tags like storm hold people you know what i mean so yeah i mean that's kind of like the rotations out of the grotto i think we just got done with all the loot paths and all I th honestly i think we covered majority of it we covered all the hiding spots um let me see if my notes if anything i didn't go over um yeah i mean i'm pretty sure that's it if you guys have any more questions um feel free to hit me up on any social media i'm very active on my social media <laughs> um so if you guys want to you guys can uh, more than more than welcome to ask me a question um i'm mostly active on twitter uh my instagram is i'm also active on there as well um so basically all my platforms are money fn my twitch is money fn underscore and what you guys are watching on right now my youtube is money fn as well um, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me, shoot me a DM, be like, yo, uh, I didn't really cover this in the video. What do you think about this? Or how do you play it in this situation? Um, like if you have a situation or you have a clip you want me to go over, feel free to DM me. Uh, I'm an open book, you know? So, 
um yeah guys i hope you guys really enjoyed the video if you guys like these types of videos and you guys want me to do these videos on like different mythic pois or like how to play pois in general or like you guys want me to make this a series feel free to let me know you know i right now with all this quarantine stuff covid19 like i have plenty of time to to crank out videos and like strategic videos um so if you guys like these videos just let me know man and i can i can start making like a series or something you know if you guys really enjoy this so uh, I appreciate everyone who is still watching this far. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. Um, but yeah, it's your boy Money, and I hope you guys have a great night.